Hi everyone, this is Frances Reiser with LuLuRoe Frances Reiser, and I'm coming back at you with another not video. I know, it's been a long time coming. I even put on makeup for you guys. <laughs> Let's talk knots. If you missed my previous video, Knots 101, we talked about some basic knots like this one on the Irma and the Carly. I want to talk about the ever so popular rosette knot. Rosette, yes. That I'm gonna do on this lovely leggings maxi. This is my favorite right now. I wear this multiple, multiple times a week. <laughs> is that okay? Did I do that? All right, she said it was okay. So this one's a little bit more advanced. So if this is your first time trying this, be patient. It took me a while to master this knot. So be patient with yourself, be gentle with yourself, and just keep practicing. And this one's a fun one, so listen carefully. All right, so. You want to use something that has a lot of fabric. So something like that, uh, my true size Irma, I wouldn't recommend doing the rosette knot with because you need a lot of extra fabric to work with. Now the Maxi obviously has tons of fabric to work with and so does the Carly. So those two are great as far as doing this knot with. If you did really want to do the, this rosette knot on an Irma, I would size up a couple sizes so you could have all that extra room to play with. So with that said, make sure you have two little hair ties um, I prefer the thinner ones, but I can't find any right now, so I need to take the thicker ones right now, but it's probably better so you can see it on the video. So, where do we want to put the knot first? We have to decide. Let's say, let's say my lovely mannequin is wearing this as a dress, and she wants to put the rosette knot over to the side. Now, doing a knot, as you know, will help cinch it and also create a really fun um, silhouette. So I'm going to actually move this over, and hopefully you can still see it. And I'm gonna pinch it where I wanna have the knot. So maybe around here where her waist is. And I'll pinch it and I'll take the fabric and I'll gather it and try to get as much as you can there, okay? And you want to kind of play with it and make sure this is how you want it to fall. And try to get as much fabric as possible and you're gonna do a little ponytail right where you want it to fall. And I think right there looks good. What do you think? Nice. And on the side, try to get a little bit more fabric if you can, because the more that you have, the more that you can work with, the better. All right, so we have this little poof going on, and obviously we don't want to leave it like that. So we have to like flatten it out, like, like a pancake, flatten it out. And I want you to feel, and if you're doing this on yourself, it's a little bit tougher. I want you to feel where all that gathered material is, like this part right here, where it all is. I want you to feel that. And what helps is to kind of bring it away from the body and then get your other ponytail holder. And hopefully I can do this in one take, guys. And wrap it around where you feel that other ponytail holder is. Okay, oh my gosh, I think I did it. Now, this one, be careful because it has been known to pop off, so I'm just gonna kind of tighten it that way. And still holding on to that little knob, I kind of play with it and pull out the sides. You can see it makes this like fun little rosette. Hopefully that doesn't pop off when you try to um, That's why I like those little thinner rubber bands because then it, you're not seeing the rubber band. So that's what it looks like. And it just popped off like so. <laughs> so let's try again. So I told you, take some practice. Find that gathered material. Put your arm, put your hand around it. And there it is. This is gonna help too. And get that rubber band around that knot. Now the key is, is to get it behind, or I guess right on top of that other knot, like that other rubber band that's underneath, okay? So I did a little bit tighter, so it came out a little bit, um, a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And that's how you get that rosette knot. Look how cute that is. And look how it like gathers and makes like an even more flattering silhouette. Oh my gosh, simply gorgeous. What do you guys think? little rosette knot. Knots 201. This one's a little bit more advanced, so again, like I said, be patient with yourself. Just keep practicing. And I would love to see some pictures of your rosette knots. So feel free to share it in my group. 
and um, let me know how it <laughs> works out for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to subscribe and follow my journey, um, please subscribe. All my links are down below if you'd like to join my free community group. The link for it is down below. And of course, if you're a consultant, feel free to use this video for training purposes as well. I hope you have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, and peace out and peace in. Shine on, sisters.